Good morning again from my car. So it is Tuesday. I think it's the 22nd of November. I'm terrible with the dates. They kind of just all roll into one. So hi, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me on this journey so far, thank you very, very much. It's much appreciated. And if you are new here, it is near the end of NaNoWriMo and also near the end of my 30 day challenge where I challenge myself to write a book in 30 days. So one thing, I have one nano. 50,000 words I crossed the finish line yesterday I am so happy so relieved um I knew I was going to there was no reason I shouldn't do it but that's it 50,000 is in the bag I think I'm at 53,000 words maybe so that's done and dusted that's one thing ticked off however probably not going to make my 30 day challenge but that is not a problem the whole point of doing this was to just get myself writing and I've achieved that. I've been writing pretty much every day apart from when I've prioritised other things that had to be done such as orders and things like that. But I am happy and thrilled to bits that I won NaNoWriMo. So how are you doing? Have you crossed the finish line yet? Way before me? Or you still got to go? If you've still got to go, I am rooting for you. It, um, you're going to do great. Even if you do not hit the 50,000 words. It doesn't matter. The point is to be writing. And that is the whole point of NaNoWriMo itself, is to get people writing. So if if you're not going to hit the 50,000, but you have written words and got into whatever you're needing to do, then it's fantastic and well done. So yesterday I wrote the chapters. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm into the beginning of the second act. This is where he's accepted what's happening and stuff like that. And... This accounts for the biggest part of the story. It's also where people kind of struggle when writing. And I can, it is hard because you're like, what do I do now? Where do the characters go? Because you, I know where the ending's going to be. So I know where my characters need to end up. And obviously this is a crime novel. So I know we're going to get to who did it at the end. But it's the stuff in the middle. So i wanted to give alex an attachment to the victim's younger sister she's only i can't say she's 13 or 15 she's a kid basically and i wanted to give him an attachment to her and kind of because he's still kind of grieving for his wife who died 18 months ago and it's a i wanted it as a way to give him a purpose as to get back into the job that he loves because obviously he's been out of it you know, his wife was fighting an illness. She died. He's had to do a lot of support in that for her. And so he's not, he's kind of come out of the job he's loved and found it really hard to get back into it. So I wanted to give him a connection that would bring him back into his job and back into himself. And I think that I could do that with this kid sister of the victim. You know, she's now, she's got a terrible mother there's a father that she doesn't really know. Her sister, who was her um, parental guardian, is now dead. So she's kind of on her own. And I wanted him to form a kind of relationship with her where he, he cares for her, cares what happens to her, kind of like is there for her kind of thing. So I realised I probably need a couple of chapters from her perspective. So I wrote I wrote a chapter with what she did because when she first met Alex <clears throat> she was afraid and she ran away because obviously a policeman showed up at your door and you know she's got some other troubles going on and she thought he'd been sent to deal with that and he tried to convince her otherwise but she was just some scared kid so she ran away and he lost her. So he's had to phone social services on her but he's, she's kind of stuck in his mind and I need to give him a reason why she's stuck in his mind. Maybe I'm going to have it that his wife, no, I would say his wife came from an abusive family, but her, his mum, her mum's in it. Maybe the father, I don't know. I might, I'm not sure. Is there some kind of connection that would link back to his wife as to why he would suddenly worry about this kid? Because in his next chapter, I have him going, checking on her, seeing if she's back at the house just wanting to talk to her make sure she's all right but he can't find her so i'm going to have then something happen to her and he's going to find out some way and try and get care for her so yeah so he's just trying to form this emotional attachment with him and this is what in some of the crime novels these are the th things i felt has been missing the three-dimensional characters them giving a personality rather than just being a detective going to solve a case they've actually had 
cares and personalities and things that affect them and that's what i'm trying to do with alex so i did first draft those chapters today so today they're going to be second draft and hopefully i'll get another five thousand words so although i'm not going to probably achieve my book in a month that i was after i still want this book out before the end of december and i still want to see how quickly i can write it so i am going to see how many words i can get in november and we have eight days of the month left so i'm not optimistic that i would be able to do my five thousand words per day but as long as i'm writing something it's fantastic i'm gonna head off now head back inside get some writing done um before i go to the gym later so i shall see you later and i hope you're having a wonderful day bye evening so i did not get to my writing today despite all my best intentions and it's currently i think it's about half past seven i'm not going to get to it so i got i was out this morning finished what i was doing about half past 12 and cats and so finished what i was doing and then and then i discovered i had a flat tire and i thought it was gonna be dead quick and easy and everyone was booked up today so it was really hard to get hold of a new tire it took me till about i didn't get home to about half past four and by which time all well, everyone was home there was some stuff to do in the house and then i was down for the gym uh, i just show you my kitty cat Yeah, so then I was down for the gym. Are you FaceTime? And <clears throat> so I've just been to that and then I'm gonna have some dinner. And then it's wind down time because it's you know I've been on the go all day, so no writing today. But I did have a good kind of plotting session um while I was in the gym. In in my head, obviously. So I am a discovery writer, which means I do a lot of thinking on the go of the next bit as I'm going. And sometimes it happens as I'm writing and sometimes it happens in between. And this was the effect I wanted to happen from writing every day was for me to be so immersed in it that I would be thinking about my story when I'm doing other things. And so it happened. So I was thinking about the chapter that I wanted to write with Alex going to Madeline's little, finally Madeline's little sister. And I was thinking, this was at the gym, so I've already got the he does like to run. So I was thinking, what if he was out running that evening? And I was thinking about things and found himself running towards the house where Madeline lives, where Sammy is potentially on her own and then going to investigate it rather than him just driving straight there from work, which kind of is a bit creepy. And he kind of just finds himself there naturally from running, like realises where he is. So I was thinking that I still need to find a reason why he's going to take a like a a shine to her kind of thing but i'm sure that'll come when i'm writing the chapter but that was my thoughts plus it gives if i do that it's you know this comes another show rather than telling so instead of saying that he's into his fitness and stuff like that i'm showing and i'm also moving the story forwards because he's running and then it's making the connection with this girl called sammy so yeah so that was my idea this evening so I am going to head off and go and get a shower, have some dinner and try and do some more work. See you later. Bye.